welcome along to this next video around working with player registration system in whole game system today i'm going to show you how to upload a photograph to a record within the system so as you can see here i'm on the login page to whole game system and i've entered my email address and my password and i'm going to sign in obviously if you ever have any problems with any passwords emails etc use the links that are at the bottom of the page here and obviously if you don't have an account please use the don't have an account sign up button at the bottom here so i'm going to log in and as you can see all of my different club tabs are across the top and on this occasion i'm going to use this tab, cumberland fa and the person I'm going to be looking for today is myself. And obviously we've got tabs down the left hand side here, which you can see, which offer various functions. And I'm going to click player registration. Once the player database is loaded, what we can see here is the amount of players that we have in our database. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down from 2019-20 to 2020-21. The reason I'm doing that is because that will be the new season coming as of the 1st of July, and this is where all the up-to-date records and data will be. Once the 1st of July passes, this 2020-21 will become the default page that you see upon your dashboard and player database. So obviously I'm looking for myself today, and what I want to do is I want to upload my photograph to my record. So as you can see here, further down the list, but just for the interest of showing you the function in the video, I am going to type. And as you can see here, I've come back, my date of birth is correct. Um, I have some checks that I can do. I have my fan record here, and I don't have any activity beneath my name. Now, there are two ways in which you can add a photograph. You can click on the profile of my name, and if I allow the page to load, I can then use this function here where it allows me to edit details. Those details will allow me to look at what details have been put in for myself. And obviously my club will be able to see this as well. Here you can do the individual photo. And as you can see here, there are guidelines, quite clear guidelines that say what your photo should be looking like. So the photograph must be of your head and shoulders, forward facing, alone and not part of a group, a current reasonable likeness of yourself. Some leagues will have photographic requirements, some others not so much. So this is very much based on the league requirements that are set by your league year on year. So obviously, as you can see here, drag a photo here, drag and drop functionality exists, select a photo from your computer. This, like I say, is one way in which we can do it. It gives me direct access to my computer and it allows me to choose a photo. But for the second way I'm going to show you how to do it, I'm going to just scroll to the bottom here and I'm going to just save the changes. Although I haven't made any changes, it just takes me back to the information. I'm going to click on the player register registration tab once again and I'm then going to find my record directly again now this is more of a shortcut version the second version than how to do it if you hover over the actual picture icon it says click here to add photo and that's exactly what I'm going to do so as you can see drag and drop function again select a photo to which I would like to see and I'm going to use the one that you're about to see, which is here. Now, don't worry if it's in landscape uh, orientation, we can rotate the photo, as you can see here. That's the type of photo that we like to see, very clear likeness in terms of who we want to see. And that will, although that, that actually my, my daughter, we can actually see that there's a picture there that is very clear to see, it's within the guidelines. And if I'm not actually quite happy with with what I'm seeing, I can upload a different photo. That takes me back to my pictures, it takes me to my browser, and I can be able to see uh, additional pictures as I see fit. So I'm happy with the, the photograph that I've got here. I'm going to click. 
gives me a message that the photo has been uploaded successfully and then it allows me to click off. As you can see here, the photo has been added to my profile. If I click on my name, the photograph will follow through onto every single piece of data that is linked to myself. Obviously, if we need to add additional photos, if you're doing it for your team or you're doing it for your club, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, my suggestion would be to use the quick access function, which is right next to the name of the player. If you are adding brand new players, it does give you a functionality uh, whilst creating the new player to add the photo at the same time. Uh, but where existing players are already in the system and you need to add photos, I would suggest using the the, the quick click add photo button here to dra either drag a photo in, select from your computer or device. Remember, you can do this on iPad, etc., cetera, um, or other tablets, um, and you can basically save, and that is a very, very quick way of uploading photos. One thing to note with uploading photos, obviously, is that they are within certain requirements and parameters set by your league. There is a potential that your league could reject your photo. If they do reject your photo, you will be able to go in, make some slight amendments. The majority of rejected photos are to do around with a little bit of cropping, a little bit of moving the photo to make sure it's a little bit more clearer. And then you can resubmit to the league once that's been done. Once a league approves your photo, that becomes locked for the season. And that is something that will not be then unlocked until either requested to the county FA or registration is cancelled at the end of the current season. However, if you do want to play for additional teams in additional leagues, do not worry, you will not need to upload photo after photo after photo. This photo will stay with your profile because because it's your data, it's your name, it's your fan number, um, and will stick with you until it is changed. I hope that's proven useful. I hope you found that a relatively simple process to, to, to follow. Thank you very much.